Hello everyone, welcome to Medici Prime and now we will discuss the foundation, shallow foundation first. So shallow foundation and pile. So first of all, when we talk about the shallow foundation, so there are like different theories. So one by one, we will discuss all the theories and then we will discuss further. So here, first of all, that question is uh, like related with the Tarzaghi's theory and Scampton theory. Now, when we talk about the Tarzaghi and Scampton theory, so remember this thing. Okay, when we talk about the Tarzaghi's theory, so Tarzaghi theory is valid for strip footing. Tarzaghi theory is valid for strip footing. So, for strip footing, there is an equation, and that equation is what? Okay, that ultimate bearing capacity QU is equal to CNC plus gamma DF NQ plus 0.5 B gamma N gamma, where this Third gamma is for the soil below the base of footing. Second gamma is for the above the base of footing. Now point is to be noted ki here C is the cohesion and NC, NQ and gamma is the Tarzaghi's bearing capacity factors which are like uh, depending only upon phi. Now there may be like square footing, there may be like circular footing, there may be like rectangular or raft. Okay. So there may be like different footings may be there or rectangular raft. So point is to be noted ki when we talk about this square footing. So in the square footing this equation changed to this equation modified to like this. Here this 1.3 and all are the modification factor. Hai, ye ek se kya hai? Shape factor. These are what called as shape factor. So these are shape factors in which for the square footing we are using 1.3 in the first term. Second is like same gamma df nq plus 0.4 B gamma N gamma. Next, when we talk about the circular footing, so in the circular footing, this equation changed to the 1.3 CNC plus gamma DF NQ plus 0.3 B gamma N gamma, where this B is the B is the like diameter of that circular footing. When we talk about the rectangular raft, so point is to be noted in the rectangular raft, there is like width and length. There is like width and length. So now point is to be noted ki when that width and length is there. So like circular may only diameter is there. Square may that B is equal to L. A strip may only B is there. L is very very greater than B. So now here we have to take the B and L also in the consideration. So 1 plus 0.3 B by L. CNC plus gamma DF NQ plus 1 minus 0.2 b by l half b gamma n gamma so this is the equation for the different uh, shape of footing so whenever that question is there you have to check three things and these three things are like wff where f is for first f is like footing so you have to check which shape of footing is there accordingly we will use the tarzaghi's equation okay next when we talk about the failure so here that failure is assumed failure is assumed as the general shear failure but point is to be noted that soil may fail in the local shear failure also. That soil may fail in local shear failure also. So if local shear failure is there, if local shear failure is occurring, so point is to be noted that C and phi will be modified. When we are talking about the modification, C and phi will be modified. And when we talk about the modification, so here, that CM will be used instead of C. In the first term, you are using C, but here we will use CM. And that CM is equal to 2 by 3C. When we talk about the phi M, so phi also modified such that 10 phi M is equal to 2 by 3 of 10 phi. Now, point is to be noted. So here, this phi M is equal to 10 inverse 2 by 3 of 10 phi. Clear? Now point is to be noted, so here that CM will be used in the first term and NC, NQ and gamma will be corresponding to the phi M, okay. So corresponding to phi M, we will take the like NC, NQ and gamma. Here in the question, generally we will assume the local when local shear failure is mentioned. So local failure agar mentioned hai, if it is mentioned over there, then we will take the local shear failure. If suppose for example, local is not mentioned. Local is not mentioned and table is given. Table for NC, NQ and gamma is given. 
बिकॉज एन सी एन क्यू एन गामा वी कैन नॉट डिटरमाइन बाई दी फॉर्मूलाज ठीक है सो एन सी एन क्यू एन गामा शुड बी गिवन सो फॉर डिफरेंट ऑफ फाइव दिस इज गिवन एंड इफ फाइव इज लेस देन ट्वेंटी एट ठीक है तो सपोज लोकल इज नॉट मैंशन नाउ वी विल चेक टू कंडीशन टेबल गिवन है इफ टेबल इज गिवन एंड फाइव इज लेस देन ट्वेंटी एट देन वी विल टेक द लोकल ठीक है सो रिमेंबर दिस थिंग एंड बाई दिस वे वी कैन से दिस इज द सेकेंड मॉडिफिकेशन एंड दिस मॉडिफिकेशन इज फॉर फेलियर थर्ड वन इज वॉटर सो पॉइंट इज टू बी नोटेड वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द वॉटर का करेक्शन सो रिमेंबर दिस थिंग की थेर आर टू गामाज एंड वन गामा इज फॉर द बिलो द बेस ऑफ फुटिंग एंड सेकेंड गामा इज फॉर द अब द बेस ऑफ फुटिंग सो हियर यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड की वॉटर टेबल मे बी एनी वेर दैट मैक्सिमम डेप्थ ऑफ स्ट्रेस जोन एक्सटेंड अप टू द बी सो हियर वी कैन से दिस This is the depth of footing DF. ठीक है This is the depth of footing DF. And this is the width of footing that is like B. So point is to be noted कि यहां पर that maximum depth of stress zone will extend up to the maximum depth of stress zone will extend up to the B only. So we can say this is like DF and this is like B. so point is to be noted so we have to check ki where is the water table if water table is in zone 1 such that that depth z1 is greater than b below the base of footing then there will be no change so in this case there will be no change over there theek hai now suppose for example water table is in like zone 2 so if water table is in like zone 2 then in this case that two gammas are there so gamma third will change gamma third will change third gamma will change so third gamma means this this will change point is to be noted ki if if water table is in zone 3 so if it is in zone 3 so all both gammas two gammas will change both gamma will change clear now point is to be noted ki if water table is over here or below over here or below we can say ki there is no change if water table is over here then third gamma will be gamma somewhat If water table is at ground level, then that both gammas will change. So this is the problem of water table. ठीक है तो water table के according we will check. Now chances are there कि water table may be like in between. So whenever it is like in between, we will do the weighted average. I am giving you an example. कि suppose for example water table is like over here. ठीक है. This is suppose for example Z3. ठीक है. So Z3. Now point is to be noted. This soil is like saturated and submerged. and this soil is like we can say bulk dry oblique moist theek hai so when we will do the like gamma change so both gamma will change so third gamma becomes gamma submerged and now gamma second will be given like weighted average so we can say ki gamma 1 ya gamma bulk into z3 gamma 1 into z3 plus gamma 2 into this to so gamma 2 we will use as gamma submerged and that will be like df minus z3 divided by df so by this way you can take the weighted average theek hai so this is weighted average so this is like gamma effective second term third gamma will be gamma submerged in this case i am giving an example so like this we have to check the three things water footing and failure and if you are checking the water footing and failure then there will be no problem now i am coming back to the question and now when i am coming back to the question so point is to be noted ki a square footing of 2.5 by 2.5 has been founded at 1 meter below the ground level In a cohesive soil, bulk unit weight is 18 and unconfined compressive strength. Many student get confused in between this unconfined compressive strength UCS. So remember this thing. This unconfined compressive strength UCS is like 55. So UCS is equal to 2C for clay. So C will be equal to 55 by 2. Clear? That is 27.5. So that will be like 27.5. Clear. Now point is to be noted. Determine the safe bearing capacity of the footing for a factor of safety of 2.5. Clear. This is a very small question. ठीक है. Depth of footing is like one meter. Size is 2.5. Water table is given or not? So water table is not given. So point is to be noted here. When I am applying the Tarzagi story, so we have to check three things. Footing failure. So footing क्या दिया है? Footing क्या दिया है? Square दिया है. फेलियर के बारे में बोला नहीं है सो वी विल अज्यूम दैट जनरल ओनली वाटर के बारे में बोला नहीं है तो वी विल नॉट अज्यूम दैट थिंग सो फॉर स्क्वायर फुटिंग वी विल अप्लाई दिस रिलेशन सो फॉर 
for square footing for square footing when i will use the terzaghi's theory so q u is equals to 1.3 cnc plus gamma df nq plus 0.4 b gamma n gamma now you have to understand ki that co soil is like cohesive over there that soil is like cohesive or cohesive hai so in that case phi is not there clay is there so according to terzaghi as per terzaghi for as per terzaghi for phi is equals to 0 nc is 5.7 nq is 1 and n gamma is equals to 0 okay so hence we can say qu comes out to be 1.3 cnc plus gamma df nq 1 ho gaya or third term becomes like 0 now i am putting the value so we can say ki qu comes out to be 1.3 C 27.5, NC 5.7 and gamma that is like 18, DF which is like 1. Okay. So 18 kilonewton per meter cube is the gamma and founded at 1 meter below the ground level. Okay. So this is the expression. Now we can solve this thing. So when we are solving this thing, so... So this comes out to be 2 to 1.775 kilonewton per meter square. But point is to be noted, question is not asking this. Question ne ye nahi pucha hai. Question ne kya pucha hai? Safe bearing capacity puchi. Now point is to be noted when we talk about the safe or allowable bearing capacity. So safe bearing capacity. When we take, so we can say ki Q safe is equal to Q net safe plus sigma bar is equals to q and u divided by factor of safety plus sigma bar is equals to q u minus sigma bar upon factor of safety plus sigma bar. Okay. So I am putting the value so we can say water table is not there. So that's why it becomes like q u minus gamma df divided by factor of safety plus gamma df q u jo hai that q u is equals to 2 to 1.775 minus gamma 18 df is 1 factor of safety is 2.5 I think. So, factor of safety is like 2.5 plus 18. Clear to 99.51 kilonewton per meter square is the safe bearing capacity. Point is to be noted after that, that question is asking about the, question is asking about the Skempton also. Thik hai, to Skempton ke baare mein usne pucha hai. So, Skempton ke baare mein bhi hum nikal denge, koi dikkat nahi hai. So, Skempton jo hai wo ek se ultimate bearing capacity nahi deta. That Skempton gives the net ultimate bearing capacity. <coughs> so, Skempton theory gave Q and U which is like C and C. And point is to be noted ki here that value of NC is like depend upon the depth. Shallow or deep dono ke liye valid hota hai. So when that question is asking about the uh, like uh, Scampton theory, remember this thing, ki NC is the Scampton bearing capacity factor which is given like this. So first of all, you have to apply the 1 plus 0.2 DF by B, 1 plus 0.2 DF by B. Okay. Now for strip footing, NC jo hai, that is equals to this for square and circular square and circular this is like nc is equals to 6 into this and for rectangular and raft rectangular and raft nc is equals to 5 into 1 plus 0.2 b by n okay so in our case this nc is for square we will use okay so because that square footing is there so we can put the values so 6 1 plus 0.2 df is 1 b is 2.5 b is 2.5 theek hai so by this way this comes out to be 6.48 
ठीक है सो दिस नेट अल्टीमेट बियरिंग कैपेसिटी क्यू एन यू इज इक्वल टू सी एन सी सी इज ट्वेंटी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 6.48 so this comes out to be 178.2 but point is to be noted here question is not asking about the net ultimate question is asking about the safe safe comes out to be net safe plus sigma bar and that net safe is equals to qnu divided by factor of safety plus sigma bar nu we know 178.2 qnu divided by factor of safety 2.5 plus gamma df so 18 into 1 So this comes out to be 89.28 kilonewton per meter square. ठीक है बेटा. So by this way we solve the like this Tarjagi and Scampton. So read the question properly and what that question is asking, that you have to focus. And if you are focusing on that things, then there will be no problem at all. ठीक है? Clear?